years ago, you kind of, you know, flirted with the possibility. You talked about like secret society and things. Um, do you still hold on to those same beliefs about Jay Z and all that that type of stuff? And you said you had some, you know, you were kind of like flirting around with something, but I never heard no more about that. Back in those days, you was going. Um, real talk. Um, when people ask me about that, man, I really don't know. Really, when it comes to that secret society and all that other shit, man, um, I don't. I ain't feeling that because, um, I mean, I know it exists, and whether he belonged to it or not, I don't know. That's kind of like out of my element with that. Um, far as like his affiliation with other people, um, that's no secret. Um, far as the affiliation with him dealing with government informants, it's no secret, right? Um, at all, um. Do I think it's it's crazy that nobody brings that to you know <laughs> nobody brings that subject up? Yeah, I believe that. Yeah, of course they're affiliating with them people. Um, the more I look at it, and the more I understand it, more and more that that's why I couldn't. That's why I'm not a, a part of that. It seems to be clear and clear each time. Yeah, they um to me in my case personally. Like I said, I did my own case. I read all the transcripts. I listened to all the wiretaps. It's just important. It's just impossible for me to understand how they don't have Jay and they got all these conversations with Emory. It, it just don't make sense. It would never make sense to me. How do you feel, feel about uh, Desiree Perez, Rock Nation? You know, um, there, there was a, um, I was, you know, about what went down with the cartels and everything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we actually, we actually did a story, we posted a story on um, our website, and Rock Nation lawyers sent us an email demanding us to take it down. You know, what I mean, about her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a fact. But what? how do you, how do you, feel, how do you feel about that? Um, about Jay Z appointing her head of Rock Nation, knowing her checkered past with the DEA, FBI, and all that. How do you feel about that? What else you going to do? <laughs> when you working with him, what else you going to do? You know what I'm saying? Um, she going to be around. You know what I'm saying? That's what's just like suspicious to me. You know what I mean? Um, homegirl got a strong position in there. And it's crazy that you know her background. And you know what we stand for. So it's just self-explanatory. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you working with him or you... You got to be working with them. As far as I'm concerned, Rock Nation is run by government. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Why, why, would, why would people think the government don't run businesses? You don't think by right now that they've got a major rapper that's a snitch, that's an informant? Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. You don't think in 2020 that they don't have a major rapper that's an informant? Come on, man. Um, I think this run by the government. I think that they, the government has to make money. Uh, you and then you gotta understand the people that these companies make money for. You gotta look at some of these cases these niggas had. How niggas getting around certain federal charges. Yeah. You understand? Like when you start to question all that, like end of the day, nah, that shit don't it's, it's not right. It's not right. I you know what I mean. I call a spade a spade all day. But at the end of the day, there's no way possibly you can see and tell me on my case. That they ain't here, they ain't got no conversations with Jay and Emery at all. It's don't, it don't make sense. So at some point, they got a hold of him and he's been working ever since. Desiree, she good. She in a good position, always been in a good position. Don't know when they caught him up, but she in a good position. You know what I mean? And I don't understand, this ain't new. This chick, Desiree, is not new. So with all the Rock Nation artists that's supposed to have been so street, they know. They know. So it's okay. Like now, you know, going into 2020, like I'm not confused about it now. It's, I guess they gonna go with it's okay to to do business with informants. It's okay to, you know, to chill with them. It's okay, you know, long as he, you know, it's a whole different set of guidelines for them. So we get it now. It's okay. You could talk to a snitch. You could you can you could do collaborations with them. <clears throat> they all over there. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I mean, that's always been suspect to me. That's that, That's been one of the reasons why I know Jay couldn't call me in over there, that mm. I wasn't going to be a part of that. 
there's no way possibly there's no you can't fathom that i was going to condone any of that going on you know what i'm saying and it's funny that how is emory comfortable over there how, how are they comfortable we talking about niggas that done time how are you comfortable knowing that this chick is an informant you know what i'm saying like there's no rule it's over it's over Six nine would be doing music with the man. Matter of fact, six nine would be doing music with all of them. If they sold out, you know, there's I know that this generation, man, they do anything for money. Anything. They they don't they give up their morals, they give up, you know what I'm saying? They they everything they stand for just for a check. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be mad, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, like it's a lot going around with this snitch shit. People don't know, they don't know the magnitude of it at all at all so when they tell me like i said you know when they be like yo six nine know what he was doing he knew he knew exactly what he's getting into i mean i can't agree with that i cannot agree with that trust me if anybody knew what they was getting into fully when it come down to playing with them boys and, and doing this man, I, I doubt he would have he'd have thought twice about it he'd have thought twice about it he knew that he can get in trouble for some of the shit, but he didn't know the magnitude of what he was getting himself into. Yeah, young and dumb. As I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they young, but you know what I'm saying? It goes back to the days of when they used to say, yo, we gonna put a battery in his back. Mm -hmm. So who do, you, who do you blame? You know what I'm saying? Who do you blame when you put a battery in your back, in your back and you go with it and you think you're protected by these people and you're not? You know what I'm saying? And then you come to find out you you the feds show you this, and then you supposed to be honest. You know, like I asked somebody, I said, yo, if six nine with another toe, and he just go ahead and rock with that life sentence, will he still be getting respect? Hell no. What they think they're gonna be running around going, yo, six nine is hard. He took that. You think they gonna be doing that if he would have took the L? Yo. <laughs> <laughs> It's crazy, man. That's why I uh, humble myself and the game is over, man. And I try to tell these young dudes and, and preach to them that it ain't no it ain't no love in that shit. It ain't no love in that. When you start having to realize and you say you even make a decision between you or your mom going to jail and you come down to those terms, you ain't ready for that. You ain't ready for that. So yeah, that whole conspiracy and rock nation, all of that is government run. I will not lie to you, man. Don't believe that the government don't run businesses. So. As you say that, and I connect the dots and watch the documentary, hear everything that you said in the past, watch Jay-Z's move, come, becoming a billionaire, one of the greatest rappers, if not the greatest rapper of all time. Is it fair to say that the reason why he cut you off, your family off, everyone in the circle cut you off, it's because there's something deeper going on and it does have something to do with where he currently stands right now with Walk Nation and everything that's going on. I believe that. <laughs> I believe that. Just like I believe, yo, man, like, that's what I said, man. Learning it took him 13 years to grow and, and, and start to analyze and, you know, keeping it true with myself and, and trying to figure this out. You know what I'm saying? In so many ways, he saved me. So many ways he saved me, man. That's why I'm not, I'm not, I don't have no anger towards him. You know what I'm saying? It's so many ways sitting in that cell, um, waiting on him to come, you know, look out for me with the lawyers and all this. That's stuff that could have hurt me. You know what I'm saying? When I look at the bigger picture, if I'd have showed up in court with a legal defense team, that shit would have been against me. Cause they would have thought I really had what I had, what they were saying I had and, and everything. That shit, they would have been wondering like, where's this coming from? Could have made everything go wrong. You know what I'm saying? But the fact that he didn't even check on me is disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? The fact that he, you know, the way he misled me is disrespectful. But when you start looking, I start looking at the picture as a whole, you know what I'm saying? Sitting in that cell, I'm glad he didn't come again. You know what I'm saying? I'm God, God showed up. You know what I'm saying? When I was praying that he comes, the real God showed up, you know what I'm saying? And got me around it. So like I said, you know, looking back at all of that, it's definitely meant that, you know, things that happen for a reason. He couldn't come get me. You know what I'm saying? He couldn't, he can't mess with me. Once that all folded out, I already see it. I wouldn't have been happy over there. I would have stirred shit up. I would have stirred shit up. It would have never worked out for Desiree and whoever her team is. 
<laughs> that's who really running shit. You know what I mean? Shit. <laughs> that's who running it. So yeah, I, I'm cool with that. And I don't like I said, I just don't see how all the rest of them sit comfortably with it. So they must be all in on it. Amory on all the rest of them. They must they all condone it. But yet y'all really appoint fingers at some of these dudes that ain't half the, you know, half of the status of these dudes. You can you point fingers at them, but you won't say nothing to them. Man. Really, this generation is whack, you know. It's whack with that. What does that say yeah. about Jay Z to, to, to throw Sus Hart to do that though, right? If we're speculating that that's what's going on, or that's kind of what we're going along, and then to call you a snitch, what is that? Is. <laughs> 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 then to call me a snitch, yo. <laughs> I mean, that's 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 terrible. Yeah, then to call me a snitch, but you know, this is what happens though. You know what I'm saying? Sooner or later. It all comes out. It all blows over. The show is over that, you know, you guys really tried to play me um, and count me out. You know what I'm saying? Y'all thought I would be doing life and probably in the Don Diva magazine praising me, but it didn't happen. And the fact of the matter that none of them could even man up and be like, yo, I apologize. Like, that's got to be the biggest thing in the world for some people to be like, yo, man, I apologize. Some people look for an excuse. You know what I'm saying? Um, look for excuse to not apologize. Like, you know, you can, in other words, it's so simple to say, yo, you know what? I wasn't even thinking. Because they don't have no excuse. You know what I'm saying? They don't have nothing to come back on. And so sometimes it's just so easy to be like, yo, man, I, I mean, I, I was caught up in something and, and this and that and the third. I wasn't thinking. And all I can ask you is just, yo, can you forgive me? Simple words, man. Because some of the stuff that they've done is really, it's unforgivable. It's really unforgivable. And if you talk, you know, you talk to some of my OGs and some of the gangster dudes that I really affiliate with, you know what I'm saying? That a lot of stuff they've done was justifiable, justifiable homicide. Like, like literally, the gangster niggas like, yo, you better than me. Because I'll be ready to kill all of them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And it's just so why I feel like I'm so blessed because I never been with none of that gangster shit and that killing and crying carrying on. If you really look into my story about all the money, all that, man, I've done that without guns and violence, bro. I've done all that without guns and violence. And I'm talking about millions and millions of dollars. They sit there and tell you that. You know what I'm saying? I think that's why I'm so blessed to be around and still talking because I played the game fear. I played the games for, and those who crossed me in the game coming up, there's a lot of them that's not around no more, or they really bad, doing bad. So, I mean, I just felt like I never had to handle those situations like that. So, somebody crossed me, you know what I'm saying? I just go the other way. Because they'll do it to somebody that's not going to really tolerate it. You feel me? So, I just remain humble, man. And like I said, it just took a moment for me to grow and, and put this in perspective in a better way so I could move on. And then people can understand my anger from that YouTube, and, and I'm good with it. But like you said, big, you know, um, long story short, for him to call me a snitch with all of that that's going on, oh, that's why I need people to watch the documentary, man. Definitely. Um, to get a full understanding where I'm coming from. And we're going to leave that link in the description box of this video right below where everybody can check out that documentary. I want to go back a little bit and ask you some things that are going through my mind. Is it safe to say that you pretty much like taught Jay-Z the streets, like taught him how to move and then kind of walking that into business? Because when you're selling drugs, even though it's illegal and all that, it's an operation that goes on. Things got to be a certain way. Product got to be tested and things like that. Is it safe right. to say that you kind of molded him as a youngster to be who he is right now? Could you speak on that? Definitely, man, because you, you have to be a businessman to, 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 to maintain a, a, a operation, you know what I mean, in the streets. And I ain't going to front, like, every everything I did and he came behind me, it was already laid out. Um, far as hustling, when, 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 he, when I came and got him for Trenton, it was already laid out. It was all he was already uh talked about. You know what I'm saying? So when he got there, the blueprint was already laid out. All he had to do was just follow, you know, follow suit. So it wasn't hard. And that stood the same thing for Maryland. 
it was wasn't hard, you know what I'm saying? He just had to follow suit. And he was good at hustling, you know. I I, I don't take that from him. Cause it was times that I wasn't on the street that he had the whole shit down and he done good, you know. So he he definitely was always business wise and always kept his bread, you know, kept the bread organized. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you know, I could say that he got them skills from me and he picked up a lot more different skills far as because me, I was more like the type all or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Jay was the type of, you know what I'm saying, he could make the profit and put up the profit and go back and get the same thing, make the profit, put up the profit. He, you know, he could stow away like a, a squirrel on you. You know what I'm saying? Me, I, I, I'm a, I'm a risk. I'm a risk it. Yo, man, we ain't spend. I ain't spending a dime. I'm gonna flip this. I ain't spending a dime. I'm gonna flip this. You know what I'm saying? Until I get to a certain point, and then I can put up a lot at a time. You know what I'm saying? If it ain't, if I can't put up ten and fifteen at a time, it's not really worth it. So we just we had our both different ways of hustling, but I wouldn't say that you know he definitely get down, and he learned some things from me with that. Um, as far as the chef, you know what I'm saying? Ain't gonna front, you know what I'm saying? When it came to chefing up, he he was he was he was good with that. He was nice with that. He was nicer than me with the chefing. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> He was nice with that. I'm, I'm not going to front. I used to have to hunt him down for that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yo, you know what I'm saying? I used to have to hunt him down. He was nice with the shake. I don't know how he had. I don't know because he was left-handed. Yeah. He'd make 300, he'd make 300 extra grams jump out of nowhere. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. Yeah, he learned a lot from me, man. Um. It's cool, and, and I wouldn't say I learned a lot from him, man. That's why doing this now, um, going into this business and, and knowing a lot about behind the scenes with the music sometimes with this, like, I learned stuff from him. You know what I'm saying? It's evident I learned stuff from him. But when it comes to this hustling, yeah, definitely, bro, from day one. Is it safe to say that, you know, you're a little bit proud of Jay-Z, being though he was like his bigger brother, even though – you know, y'all went through what y'all went through. He kind of slighted you, betrayed you, whatever you want to call it. Are you somewhat proud of him to see where he came from to where he is now? I don't never say him. I say <laughs> us, man. Okay. I'm well. proud of us. Whatever his success levels is, I feel like that's mine too. I ain't got to have the bread, but I know I'm a part of that. You feel me? And that's what gives me the positive energy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm... Am I proud? Of, I'm proud of us. I'm proud of being a part of helping something get to where he at now. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not surprised, though, where he at, man, because I saw this already. I saw this long before. That's why I used to shop him around like, yo, this is my brother in battles and doing all this because I seen it. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm 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 I'm. I'm I'm proud of it that, and I'm proud to be a part of it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just hope, you know, like I said, it don't matter what level he go on, I still affiliate with us. So when he's celebrating, I'm celebrating, really. Because the first song, the first album is about me. So <laughs> I got to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what he talked about. You getting, um, taking that bullet phone, right? Reasonable doubt. Yeah. 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 All right, so I, I watched the documentary. Obviously, we watched the YouTube videos. I watched a man who was angry, hurt, obviously upset about a situation, kind of evolved to a man that's gained peace. At the end of the documentary, I see you on this big ass crane. And anytime I go over to Walt Women, I'm like, there's no way in fucking hell I'll ever get on top of them, John. And you up there living life now. You chilling. Talk about now for the haven, how, how, how peace you are. Talk about life now and, and, and what you got going moving forward. Oh man, it's 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 wonderful. Life is good, man. Like I feel much better now that like, this is out and people get an understanding. Um, you know, um, parenting. I got a six year old man. Like I said, God put him in my life, man, to get rid of to stop thinking about those dudes. And that was a great job. That was a blessing. Um, learning a craft. Like I said, that whole thirteen year of growth, man. Learning the craft, like you said, man. I'm in a carpenters. I'm a carpenter, New York City carpenter. Oh. Um, I'm working on now getting certified, getting my certification to start teaching the youth so they can get their OSHAs. 
you know what I'm saying? And put them in the construction field and show them how to get this money and show them how to build their own houses. You know what I'm saying? That's re-entry program for me. You know what I'm saying? Um, front line like that. So I'm happy, man. I'm looking forward to like shooting the Marcy May series. Everything we talked about, Dope. I'm already got it on paper, ready to start shooting it so you can see it. So you can really, really visualize and see it. You know what I'm saying? Where we, what we did and where we came from and what we accomplished. Um, so you know, life is just good, man. And I'm happy and I'm blessed. And everything that's happening now, man, I've seen it. And it's just, it's just was decided to wait. And, and, and this is what it is. So I'm good now. Life is good. And I, like I said, I wish them dudes, you know, I don't wish no harm on none of them. But at the end of the day, man, I just wanted to everybody to know where I stood with that. You know what I mean? Why that? I was so angry on that YouTube. Um, and I can't wait to recap, man, because the story behind the YouTube before that is 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 hardcore. <laughs> when you see when I tell you the story on what led up to that, man, like I was doing this for real, man. Um the game I played on the street, man, I played by all the rules necessary, man. I played fair and I just done what I was supposed to do. So when you hear that story before the YouTube, what really got it, man. Um, that's gonna be dope. Can't wait for that one. Yeah, so it'll definitely, man. A powerful, powerful interview today. Let the people know where they can find the documentary at to watch it in its entirety. Not that oh, far. Man, you can find it on uh, Vimeo. Um, we still rocking at number one. You can go on my page at uh, the Marcy May series. You can hit the link in the bio. It'll take you right there to Vimeo. Um, you can download it. Like I said, man, it's a good look. If you follow my story or you've been involved in my story, it's uh, it kind of answers all the questions to what you wanted to know about the YouTube and why. Um, down to our families, our kids, and everything else. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate you guys, man, for having me on the show. You know what I'm saying? Doing a great review with me, understanding it. Now you guys understand that that, that brings clarity. That brings a lot to me. Now. Definitely. You know that you guys know the truth and y'all do nothing but spread the truth and it's what it is i got one more quick question for you before we get out of here um in doing the documentary is there anybody that you reached out to that declined um doing it that didn't want to do it that didn't want to be involved like a a a, a, a company or production company that didn't want to be involved or nah, a person in particular like did you reach out to anybody from the past that kind of knew you and jay that could kind of get some insight to the inner <laughs> context of the information that didn't want to be involved mm -hmm. people didn't say exactly no okay <laughs> you know what i'm saying but you can you, you can you can read the vibes yeah you feel me and it's funny that even if I asked them to be a part of the documentary and I didn't have to say what they had to say, it still was a vibe there. Like, oh man, you know. And I'm like, Dad, dog, I'm asking you to share some of our relationship and our stories. I ain't, I ain't asking you to go, you know what I'm saying, and talk about Jay, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> just, just talked about what you know of, of us. Word. So um, a lot of people was on the fence about it and I didn't want to put them you know, put them again in the corner. So I didn't really interrogate too many people who were trying to do that, but a lot of people refused. And so, and, and, you know, they didn't say no, but you know how, when somebody don't want to do something, you know, you know what it is, you could pick up the vibe. Yeah, that's why I left it. That's why, I, you know, kind of didn't have so many people in, on it because it really wasn't nobody that really wanted to add to it. Even down to family members, yo, this is how deep this is, man. <laughs> The, the hold that Jay have on some people, and I'm down, down I'm talking even down to my family members mm. that 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 know the truth, right? You know what I'm saying? And that the, you know, it's just that they just think that this man is bigger than life, and it hurts. You know what I'm saying? That some of the family members didn't want to be involved because you know they still maintain or want to have a relationship, and it's cool. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't put no pressure on anybody, and I only stayed kept the circle small within the who really was there and all i needed was you know the main person that's always been there in my life you know what i'm saying and been around and seen it all was my earth you know powerful powerful so yeah man uh that's going to conclude the interview for today we definitely appreciate you taking you know it's almost two hours now we done done <laughs> yeah. man and yeah. um you know it's been a great one today and anytime you want to come on the platform to rap you know promote something just a phone call away, man. It's always open to you. Want to let you know that. Man, 
Definitely, man. And like I said, I appreciate you guys, man. Y'all keep doing what y'all doing, man. Y'all keeping in the hundred. Y'all been keeping in the hundred, man. I like the work that y'all do and the research, man. Y'all don't miss a beat. And I appreciate y'all, man. Keep pushing this content out, man. Keep pushing that positive stuff out, man. And I'm like, I'm gonna be right back at y'all. We'll do anytime so, you want to the area. I need, I need y'all on the set when we film the Marcy May series, man. I need oh, let's y'all get on the set. Let's go. We have phone call away like O said. Anytime you're in the South Jersey area, since you know Trent and you know Jersey well, definitely come holla at us, man. I want to get your push up routine. You built like a brick shit house. I know you got some. Hey, yo, hey yo, I mean, <laughs> it's either it's either that or I'm gonna be fighting with the refrigerator and, <laughs> and, the, and the Oreos and the chocolate chip gonna be jumping Damn. on me. You know, son, it's, it's it's hard. This quarantine, you gotta make the best of it, man. Or, gotta, man. You know what I'm saying? I hear the cheese doodles be whispering into my head. It's, it's hard. So I try to keep that little push up the bar I and mean, everything that, uh, on in effect. Word <laughs> on you. Thanks again, man. I appreciate it, man. I we appreciate it. One love, man. Like I said, Marcy May, man, we're going to try to continue to keep it number one as long as we on on quarantine, man. And I appreciate it. We'll do our best to do the same to help you out on that, brother. Great, great documentary. All right, man. One. All right. Well, I appreciate it. Peace.